Hi, my name is Anne Hansen and I'm Head of International Affairs and Development at Helpsheim School in Denmark. My responsibilities, or some of them, center on helping students get access to global education. I do this through a, a program of exchanges, conferences, and service projects in all countries in the world. First off, we send about 4% of our students, that's about 25 students, on exchange every year to countries all over the world. Some of our notable exchanges are with Tamagawa Academy in Japan. We exchange with Chadwick School in California. We exchange with Anglo-Colombiana in Bogota and Brookhouse School in Kenya. Our kids decide to go on exchanges for a multitude of reasons, but all of them have to do with the fact that they want to experience some sort of personal development and have a better understanding of the world they're part of. I also take kids on conferences and school trips all over the world. So do many of my colleagues. That's one of the best parts of our job. What's wonderful about it is we get to watch the kids growing right in front of our eyes. When they go to South Africa and experience a township, or they come to um, a place like Louisiana and go to New Orleans and experience working with the Boys and Girls Clubs, these kids are changed for life. They understand that children all over the world and students all over the world are all the same, but we're all different as well, in a way that we can only see when we stand face to face with true adventures and true experiences and challenges. In addition, we also send kids on service projects. Brown Square Organization does some of the best service projects in the world. This year, for example, we had three kids in Tanzania who helped build classrooms there. We've also sent kids to South America to help build um, greenhouses that could help villagers close by have a better, uh, better, eat better foods because they were able to plant uh, better, farm better vegetables uh, in use of the greenhouses. And this year we're also partnering with other Round Square schools in uh, France and in India to send kids on iCamps, ICU2, where they go to India and help uh, villagers uh, with eyes and help them find the glasses that will fit better and help them with their eyesight. So all in all we get about 35 to 40 percent of our students out on these activities right now. Our goal is to have at least 50 percent of our students come into the world and learn how to become better global citizens. We try to teach them every day that it's their job to make sure that we in the future have a world that we all want to be a part of and all can live in happily and thrive. In conclusion, let me just say that when we spend all of this time creating these projects and opportunities for our students, it's because we fervently believe that students need to meet adventures and have difficult experiences and try to understand the world differently through having the experience themselves. Having a face-to-face -face experience is completely different than reading about it in a book or seeing it on a TV screen or a little iPhone. And so we really try to make sure that all our kids, all of our students, have the experience firsthand of learning to take the perspective of the other and through this gain the self-confidence, the self-knowledge, and the courage in themselves to help make a difference in this world that we're all a part of. Thank you for listening.